Welcome to the Internet Computer. I'm Miss Minutes, and it's my job to teach you how to use the Internet Computer. So let's not waste another minute. Settle in, sharpen your pencils, and check this out. What is up, ICP Squad? It's your boy Victor, ICP Squad, with ICP Squad. As many of you know, a lot of people have been flocking to the internet computer ecosystem. This is because the truth is finally getting out there. People are starting to realize that ICP was maligned. There's been a lot of FUD in ICP about venture capital this, and people dumping their tokens, and blah, blah, blah. And without going into detail, recent revelations from SPF, FTX, and Alameda Research have made it clear that internet computer has been the victim of several attacks. Now, I'm not going to go into details of these attacks, but I will say this. A lot of people from Solana, Matic, Dot, and a lot of other ecosystems are coming over, especially from Solana. Now, I'm very excited about this. I used to be a Solana fanboy. I still think the Solana tech is pretty good, but I will say this. ICP is better and it's much faster. With all that being said, I'm very excited that you guys are here. So I'm going to make a short video welcoming everybody over to the internet computer ecosystem. And I'm going to go over wallets, DeFi, social media, etc. as quickly and as short as I possibly can. Three of the best comments are going to get one ICP each. So comment below the DFs that I missed or DFs that you think are important. Upvote the ones that you see that are important and make sure they get to the top to welcome all of our new ICP friends. Again, if you're coming to ICP, if you're coming from Solana, from Matic, from DOT, from Ethereum, wherever you're coming from, welcome to the internet computer family. Now, I will say two things. Number one, this is not a detailed video. It's not a step-by-step -step guide. If you want to see those, you can click on our YouTube channel below. And there's many guides on how to build a wallet, how to stake your ICP, how to buy an NFT, etc. This is a short guide for those of you that are looking to see what tools are available. Secondly, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Always do what's best for you. With all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the internet computer ecosystem. Number one, wallets. If you're coming over from Solana or Ethereum or other chains that are very similar uh, to those chains, you're probably used to using a wallet. You have things like MetaMask or things like Phantom Wallet, etc. And especially if you're coming from Solana, you're used to having these tiny browser plugins at the top of your browser and you use that to sign into different dApps. You sign into the dApp, the dApp sends you a message, you approve it, and that message gets written on the blockchain. Now, the internet computer does have something like that, but it's also a little bit different. The primary identification for the the internet computer is called internet identity. This is the official identity from Definity, and you can make one at the link below at identity.ic0.app. This identity is linked to devices, for example, your Apple iPhone, your Android, your laptop, etc., and it uses your device's security features. For example, I can use my thumbprint on my phone, I can use my eyes if I have a Galaxy, you can use face recognition, and on older computers, you can use a keypad using Windows Hello. This is important to take a note that if you have an older computer, you have to press the Windows key, type Hello and then enable Windows Hello so you can do something like 12345 as your password or whatever using the number pad or, of course, a harder password. With that being said, if you're very used to those plug-in wallets, you can still do that. The main one for that would be Plug Wallet. Now, the Plug Wallet is a plug-in, hence Plug Wallet. You can use Plug Wallet to connect to different interfaces like DeFi, and you can download that at PlugWallet.OOO. I'm leaving all of the links in the description below. The second one that you can use is Stoic Wallet. Stoic Wallet is a little bit different because it's not a browser plug-in. It is an in-browser application. To do that, you go to StoicWallet.com, and you make a Stoic Wallet. You you get a seed phrase and you get to keep your seed phrase etc the other thing that you can do is if you've already made an internet identity you can log into your stoic wallet using your internet identity and then log into other apps using your stoic wallet seems like extra steps but you can do both. there's also a lot more wallets one of them is the infinity swap wallet which i think is making an app and i'll leave the description to that below but the two main and most popular ones at the moment of this video are stoic wallet and plug wallet i personally like stoic wallet because i can use it on my android browser and i can just use it anywhere i go as long as i have a browser the next thing DeFi. again if you used to DeFi, a lot of the DeFi and other chains isn't necessarily running on the chain itself the d app itself is running on regular web 2 and then the on-chain transactions happen on chain with the internet computer DeFi is a little bit different everything is happening on chain for the most part now the most popular ones for DeFi are as follows number one icp swap icp swap i think has the most meme coins and the most volume some of the most popular meme coins are the ghost token the dog token and then there are certain projects that have launched coins 
options that are already available. For example, you have land tokens and you have a wide variety of many other tokens that are available to swap. The easiest way to get there is to go to app.icpswap.com. And again, you can sign in using your stoic wallet or you can sign in using internet identity. You can also sign in using plug wallet. The second one I'm going to mention is called sonic.ooo. Sonic.ooo is similar to ICP swap with the exception that they have something that's called cycles. They were the first ones to add XTC or cycles in a swappable fashion. Cycles are a computation that's used by dApps in order to run dApps on the internet computer. In sonic.ooo, they are used as a form of stablecoin. Now, this one doesn't have much volume yet. However, it's available and it's there, so I'm mentioning it. The next one, which I think is the best one that's coming so far, and I I am a little biased because they are partners of Definity community is Infinity Swap. Infinity Swap I think has the best team and they have some of the best software that's coming on and what I like about them is that they're also focusing on mobile devices. A lot of the features that they have have not yet launched but go ahead and follow them on Twitter at Infinity Swap and I think this one will be the biggest one for DeFi. Next let's go to NFTs. How do you trade NFTs? A lot of you that are coming from Solana you're already used to cheap transactions you're used to buying NFTs that are cheap and not paying a lot of gas fees. If you're coming from Ethereum you're you're probably not used to that and you're paying a lot of money still so congratulations you get to not pay any more gas fees anymore on the internet computer nfts are quite simple you simply log in with your wallet or your internet identity into one of these apps and then you buy an nft and immediately you get the nft gas fees are reverse so the person doesn't actually have to pay them and there are very very small transaction fees of like 0 0.0001 icp or something like that less than a penny so nothing to worry about the biggest marketplace by volume at the moment is entropo and i know it's spelled entropot but it's pronounced Entropo, and you can go there by going to entropo.app. Again, links are gonna be in the description. This one has the most volume, and a lot of the projects that are considered blue chip are on this marketplace. Now, I'm not endorsing any project specifically, but some of my favorite projects are in Entropo, so I would look at Entropo first. The rest of the marketplaces, and forgive me if I'm missing any, are as follows. CCC Marketplace, IC Marketplace, MemeCake.io, Anvil NFT, and ICP Swap also has NFT Marketplace within the DeFi D app itself. Now, I know I might have missed some marketplaces since there's a lot of people building and developing. If I missed anything, mention it in the comments below. And if you think people should know about this, give it an upvote so it'll go to the top. With all of those marketplaces being mentioned, I also want to add DeGastonia. DeGastonia is not a marketplace per se, but it's a marketplace aggregator. So all of these marketplaces, like like Entropo, Meme Cake, CCC Marketplace, etc., etc., all have different variations, measurements, and tools that allow you to see the rarity and the features of each NFT. However, not all of them post all of the measurements, and others have difficult to use tools. This is why NFT aggregator tools like DeGastonia are a must. The link for DeGastonia will be in the description. DeGastonia is a tool that basically combines all of the marketplaces and then puts all of the features and makes it really easy to search NFTs based on rarity and features. This is specifically useful when collections don't post NRI or rarity within a marketplace. By simply opening DeGastonia, you get to see the rarity of each NFT and you can make a more conscious and informed decision. I also want to mention social media. Social media is one of the most important parts of the internet computer since it's decentralized social media running completely on chain. And I want to mention a couple of projects. Number one, I want to mention Discover. Discover is very similar to Reddit in that users get to post things and they go to portals. But what makes it different and what makes it special is that many users get airdrops. I've personally received airdrops from Discover. And by using Discover, you get access to a lot of information that's not on regular social media yet. You also get access to gated communities that only certain holders of NFTs can have access to, as well as many, many, many airdrops that people have been getting. Lately, a lot of people who use Discover got something called the SNS airdrop, and I think that's very important. The second D app I want to mention for this is District. District is a LinkedIn alternative, and I do think it has some similarities, but I think it has a flavor of its own. District was the first social media D app I used, and again, you can find a lot of information that's not on Web 2.0 by using District. The third one and one of my favorites is OpenChat. OpenChat is one of my favorites for one reason and one reason alone, and that is the user experience. The app is really easy to use. It looks just like most messaging apps. And the best part about it is that it's running completely on chain. OpenChat is also offering some sort of referral service where you refer people to use OpenChat and they promise to reward you in tokens in the future when they launch their token. You can check out all of these apps in the description where I'll post all of the links. The next thing I want to mention is voting. Unlike Bitcoin, Coin that's basically set in stone, the internet computer constantly evolves through a mechanism called the NNS. The NNS is basically the brain of the internet computer. Anybody who stakes tokens on
on the NNS gets to vote and decide on how the network is going to change. To make it very simple, you simply go to nns.ic0.app and this both functions as a wallet and as a staking mechanism that allows you to vote. This is explained in our NNS staking video that you can see in our channel below. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful. If I missed any dApps or if I missed any details that are important, make sure to comment below. I'm Victor ICP Squad. Catch you next time.